In tonight's other news, a 7.6 magnitude earthquake hit deep under the ocean off Indonesia and East Timor early Tuesday, injuring at least one person after battling or after rattling nearby islands, damaging homes and forcing residents to flee in panic. Indonesia's Meteorology, Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysics Agency or the BAMKG or KG said the tremor was felt on the eastern islands of Timor, the Maluku Archipelago and Papua. It reported some aftershocks at a magnitude of 5.5. The country's Disaster Mitigation Agency or the BNBP said at least 15 homes, two schools had been damaged in the Tanimbar Islands. The strongest jolt was felt in Saumlaki, the archipelago's biggest town with a population of 8,000 people. Pictures shared by the agency showed damage to homes in several villages in southwest Maluku Regency. The Indonesian Geophysics Agency warned about a potential, potential tsunami initially and then lifted the warning. The quake was felt as far as Darwin, capital of Australia's Northern Territory, where at least 1,000 people reported it to the Australian Geoscience Agency. Indonesia experiences frequent seismic activity due to its position on the Pacific Ring of Fire, where tectonic plates collide. On November 21, a 5.6 magnitude quake hit the populous West Java province on the main island of Java, killing 602 people. A major earthquake off Sumatra on December 26, 2004, set off an Indian Ocean tsunami that killed more than 230,000 people as far away as Sri Lanka, India, and Thailand. Now, that powerful 9.1 magnitude quake triggered 100-foot waves that hit the shore of Banda Aceh on Sumatra.